It is a six-minute bell. Six-minute bell. No geese up only. No slams, by the way. Anyone who has a question, if you can slam, if you cannot slam here to DQ. It's not how you win. Ooh, we have... Uh, Blanda with a nice angle pick. Did a really good job of level changing. Justin Pack immediately going for a leg entanglement. All uh, reach for, his, for the neck. Get able to get back on his feet. Typically, whoever can lower the level. All right, that was a double leg from Ad from Blanda. He's a wrestler, so hopefully he can st stay with the pressure and settle in for those takedowns. Ooh, oh, back he steps surprises with me with a saddle. heel. Okay. Coming in heel, Justin doing a good job of keeping his foot sideways, kind of on the upper body. Just as I say, he looks like a wrestler. <laughs> wrestler with some footlock skills. Was reaching back, going for a dig. Justin looks like he knows what to expect here and is wanting to collect on his own. Yeah, I haven't competed against Justin, but I mean, he has been an active competitor for a couple a couple years now, I believe. I've seen him everywhere. It'd be nice to get the ages here. I know he's pretty young. He's got a lot ahead of him. We got J, Big J in the in his corner. Shout out to Big Ooh. J. Love that guy. It's Justin's uh, going for like a reverse De La Hiva as uh, he's uh, in the knee cut bottom position. We have Charlie uh, <laughs> tying up the head and arm here. Looks like he's going to be looking to like pass to maybe a cradle. Looking to knee slice out. Maybe even get the finish here. Pretty confident in his guillotine. Justin able to kind of trap a leg with a butterfly hook. He's uh, framing on the hips. Oh, goes to turtle. That's like the, the my go-to to get out of head and arms. Like belly down real quick and come back up. See, I can't exactly see. It looks like he's rolling to maybe trying to set up a... He has that I arm isolated. Well, Justin getting Charlie. on his side, able to get the half guard. It looks like uh, he's on his side on his way to close. He needs a leg circle to get a uh, close guard. He's seated. Charlie stands looking to set up a pass. I imagine a knee cut. All Very right, entertaining, these two guys. The back on their feet. See Justin's uh, rocking that Studio 84 rash guard. They're both black rash guards. Justin's got the Studio 84 rash guard. New just opened school. You've been a, you've trained there one or a couple times, right, Jess? Yes, uh, I went there once the, for the first time last week. Very very clean and beautiful school. Yeah, I was gonna say it looked really good, at least through pictures. I'd like to make a trip up myself. Landed but with the takedown again. Just I, I, I've been like really enjoying takedowns lately. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not easy, you know. It's uh, Sometimes you do all this work for like a takedown and don't get it or they pop up. And it's pretty exhausting if you're not used to wrestling. But uh, Charlie into the saddle. Backstep saddle. Very hard to collect that far leg there. Justin's doing a really good job of getting his leg out. Looks like he actually has both legs controlled. The far leg over top of the uh, triangled leg. Um, you guys probably can't see as easy as uh, we can. Looks like he's digging for that heel, Justin. Uh, so a lot of the times, uh, people want to get their leg out. The second secondary leg that they are leg locking is actually part of your defense. Oh, they get reset to the middle. Reset Justin to the Seagull. middle with two minutes left. Let's see if we can get a submission out of both these guys. Charlie been a little bit more aggressive with the subs. No finish oh, yet. Oh, that a was nice. Dummy nice. sweep to come up. That looked like a Marcelo sweep. See Justin uh, on the knees. A lot of people won't play on the knees, or a lot of people only play uh, the passing game standing. Justin able to close distance, get head and arm, reaches for a guillotine. Looks like he might back step. He's got that far underhook, so posted on the armpit on the, on the lat. Charlie framing with that inside butterfly. Looks like he's gone for a leg entanglement. 
Oh, Gaz, Justin's able to get his knee line. Justin's doing amazing with uh, his footlock uh, defense. Defenses. Very good at recognizing when he's in danger. Holy moly, that was nice. Very nice reversal slash takedown from Justin Pack. There would be so many points in this match. I, know, I wouldn't be able to count. Justin's onto his hip. He's able to crank the guillotine. Sometimes uh, you can even force a neck crank out of the position. Maybe get the pass. Oh, they're not going to make this easy on the judges if it goes to decision. we got 30 seconds left on the match. Justin probably needs to free his half guard leg. He can change the angle. Oh, Charlie is able to get the turtle. Oh, Justin tries to sit back with the guillotine, slips out. I, I imagine these guys are sweaty. It's going to be hard to tie up their neck. Not much time. And nice little take down the neck. Oh. It looks like Justin wanted to go for an Yeah, Yeah, 10 seconds. Is he going to tap? He's going to get a buzzer beater submission here. It looks like he's going for a toe hold. Oh, Justin. Wow. What a match. Yeah, I would hate to be one of the judges right now. This is insane. Yeah, it's going to be really hard. Do you go by the more who got closer to the tap, or do you have uh, who's more active with the sub attempts? Good thing is that there's three refs, so majority ones. And I'm not a ref, so. Oh, split decision. 